Hey everybody, it's your boy Chicken coming at you again. Today I wanted to cover a topic that I hadn't seen uh, put out there before. And that was talking a little bit about Mercs, their contracts, what's offered, and how to uh, get in touch with uh, at least the Merc organizations that I'm involved with. Uh, the video itself is already almost a half an hour long, so I want to make this introduction short. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. It's going to be podcast style. There is some fleet action in the background, but it's really sped up and just kind of there to have something on screen. I have uh, the honor and pleasure of uh, sitting with Run uh, and Manav. Today, we are going to talk about... Uh, mark work, why you should hire a mark. Well, I've kind of given you both a brief introduction. Take a little time to introduce yourselves briefly. My name is ZX Manov. I'm IFC in No Please Stop. And uh, I'm a mercenary military director in WHO at Society. Yeah, I'm run pilot in Pew and X Corp. Uh, Pew, obviously, with the No Please Stop Alliance. And a person who's fleeted a good amount of times with Mr. ZX Manav and some very enjoyable fleets, and Mr. Chicken. Uh, both great pilots. Why should you hire a Mercs? We'll start with Manav. Uh, why would somebody hire a corporation of Mercs? Let's say you are a PVE pilot or a you know an industrialist, but there is some some little things getting in your way to do that. Uh, you know to do whatever you prefer to do in the game, right? and you have some amount of ask and you don't want to hire a whole damn alliance if you have some certain objective for us to harass them you know uh, to put their structures into hull or take their structure downs right or uh, give them a heat a little bit what you've been experienced back to them you know and while you're just silly, sitting there chilling there back to your work back to your industrial work you know you're hauling stuff or you're doing your mining stuff you know and while we do, while you know, while we're killing people for you, and while we just doing the heat, right? That's why you should hire a corporation level mugs to you have a certain objective, and you just need some amount of people, and you don't want to pay a lot of money, you know. And we can go do that. That's why the corporation level mugs play in, and just you know, get your you know things back up running again. That's where we come in, right? Uh, the, the if that picture gets bigger and bigger and you need a lot of more support that's where no please stop and the alliance comes in and i'm pretty sure run can answer that question uh very awesomely yeah that that was the the next question on the list was why uh why hire alliance mercs for now we we, we do all scale of contracts obviously some stuff that is uh, of a uh, smaller size is sometimes more appropriate that a corp takes it. I mean, that's clearly happened in the past and who have you know, done that very, very professionally uh, in the past. Um, f from an alliance perspective, you know, why would you hire? Usually it it's involves, you know, for now we've been had really a lot of stuff and very diversified, like from from mining an intermessent belt, um, one of the first ones for void, to you know helping someone transport uh, a hauling ship, to you know facilitate move ops, um, to harass a specific group. You know, the, the, you know the, the what, what an alliance I know can be hired for is um, really is down to the client, right? But nevertheless, um, you know. Our, in general terms, you know, the sort of content that we're usually hired for is, you know, alliances and, and medium, small to medium to even large sized groups um, that you know have a military need to complete certain things which they don't have the ability to facilitate. So, for example, if you're a you know PV Indy slash a bit of PP group that has um, that has had issues with your neighboring alliance who are neutral to you and are constantly harassing, well, you know, you can hire a group like No, who has dedicated, I think, um, over 1.5 to so one and a half years of its uh, existence. And, well, most of our players are PEP, so in theory, since the start of the game, um, to kind of, you know, become experts at what we do. To I, I think we can probably say this, this degree professionals and experts within Eve Echoes 
of doing PUP and, and, and mastering the art of PUP while other people master industry and there's some really good industrialists and there's some very good um, you know PV pilots who you know can master the art of making a lot of ISK. Uh, we have certainly focused on mastering the art of PUP and and questioning and the, the meta and creating metas for from the PUP military perspective. And I think um, certainly that's a talent pool that um, all the groups can access with through through hiring for whatever military needs they might need or they need support with, you know. And and this has happened a lot. We've completed over a hundred contracts in the past. Um, I'd say clearly above one trillion ISK in in income that we've generated as an alliance. Uh, probably way above that, right? I don't actually have the end numbers. Um, and as I said, diversified content of a lot of the different things we've been hired for, but you know, an alliance that needs help in, in their military and support to complete their military objectives, whether it's to fend off uh, an attacker or to you know be more hostile. Um, towards a specific group as either revenge or just curiosity, we, we, we can provide those services. Um, and also within No, we do that completely anonymously unless the client specifically wants us to, 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 to clarify who the client is. But we've always done it in uh, absolute um, you know, secrecy and we respect that a lot from, from our clients. Uh, many clients don't want to know and to express people to know who's who, who we've been hired from, and uh, we keep that very, very, very close to ourselves. Um, literally, sometimes only the three top four executives of know know that information, and that's that stays there. So, yeah, that's kind of the type of services why one would hire No, and you know what No offers as a as a PUP mercenary alliance. Awesome, thank you, and. Um... Uh, I guess a really good dovetail question to that would be, uh, what services do uh, are available from No? I know that you mentioned defense, offense, and escorts. Are there maybe uh, some other ones uh, that uh, you didn't specifically list that are maybe uh, utilized less often, or you know, sometimes even not at all, but it's still there if somebody wants to pay? We'll start with Run to kind of continue the conversation at the alliance level. Yeah, as I said, it can be literally a lot of stuff. It can be, um, look, I want, you know, these sovereignty systems to be, these soft to be blown up, um, to, you know, um, I want you to harass this group and live in their space for a month and really, you know, really put a dent in the industrial activity or the X generation activity such as PVE or whatever and, you know, blow up their ships. And I want you to destroy this amount. Um, to, to, yeah, to actually, sometimes we just, someone puts a bounty on a specific pilot. Hey, this person's doing this here. Um, you know, uh, I'll pay you this amount to hunt them down. We also sometimes have done that. So, again, it gives, clients can get as creative as they would like. We uh, once had to, for example, escort a nightmare out of SHH space. Um, and we were being chased down. We had to. It was a nightmare in carrier and we were being chased down by whole fleet and SHH as they tried to kill those ships after they undocked. Um, and you know, quite quite the chase, quite fun. Um, we successfully saved uh, the majority of those ships. Some were caught. Um, overall, yeah, as I said, <clears throat> very diversified option and portfolio of what we've done, and uh, available to anyone that might be interested. And uh, Manav, is there, uh, I know that you had mentioned earlier um, that maybe maybe you don't want to pay the whole alliance and you want it to be something smaller. Uh, would you say that um, the corp level uh, contract uh, options uh, are basically the alliance level ones, but cheaper? Yeah, but you did say that, right? But we come in as a particular, like, let's say the Alliance come in as a, you know, a big hammer or let's say a big sword, right? Where we come as in a pointy fiddle where you can just throw in at the, like, let's say a dot, right? We can just throw in in the map and just hurt the certain group much more effectively in their, uh, you know, time zone. Point the needle where it hurts and with the certain corporations level or the certain corporation level contracts, 
come and play in that, right? But whenever you think, oh, this is getting too much, we need bigger support uh, than just these 15 or 20 guys, right? Or, you know, I, I have more risk and I, I, I need to play big. Then that no please stop comes in and we do the same services as the no does. But yeah, like Run said, uh, like the client can be as creative as possible if they have the risk to back up and uh, they do the certain payments. Um, then we can just start to go to work and complete the contracts for them. And, uh, respectfully, like, you know, we are not as, you know, uh, big as no please stop, but uh, at the corporation level, we, we do... You know, we keep the same uh, certain, you know, enigma for the clients and everything. Uh, like Ron mentioned, we do have the same codes and all, all of that. You know, at the end of the day, we are mercenaries, right? Uh, we have everything and we ha- we have been taught. Like, I, I personally have been taught by Ron, Asian, you know, Tahini, how to do these things and, how you know, how, how to be, you know, at the end of the day, a respectful mark. And uh, corporation, uh, uh, you know, contracts come and play in that uh, department. <laughs> awesome. Um, I, I kind of to to uh, something I kind of uh, didn't hear, but also picked up a little bit uh, in what you were uh, what you were both saying. Um, and most recently, when you said uh, Manav, you said that you were trained by these various individuals. Is tr- uh, training if a corp came to know or uh, who would PVP training be? Uh, something that would uh, be an option? Uh, is it literally anything a client can think of? Yeah, f- f- from an alliance perspective, yes. Uh, as I said, a client can get as creative as they want, really. I mean, unfortunately, there's only so many things one can do, um, but we pretty much have been asked to I think anything, everything has been possible. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think, like, you know, we've been asked, hey, target this freighter. I'm like, yeah, but I, I don't know when that freighter docks. That's <laughs> a very highly specific niche kind of demand, and I'm not sure we'll be able to cater that. Um, we have been asked in several occasions to train alliances. Um, back in the day, at the beginning of Noe, we would actually even have a poster, part of our kind of, uh, you know, an ad of no of like, hey, you know, are your are your are your pilots too comfortable in sync? Are they not being, you know, uh, targeted enough? Are they not ready for combat? You know, hi, no, we'll harass your own alliance, you know, and uh, I'm not sure if that actually manifests in the contract. Might have, I can't recall. Um, but certainly we've been approached by lancers who want to actually strengthen their home defense, um, be prepared to fight in CTAs, what doctrines to use. Um, and we, we do offer those services. I think it's, it's a very humble thing and very respectable of any alliance leader to pursue that if they don't consider to be militaristically prepared to defend their NOSIC space, uh, to reach out and pursue that. Because as I said before, you know, our pursuing this game is to master the art of pvp and so we spent uncountable hours doing that and spending a lot of you know a lot of talented smart people you know working on a lot of things to achieve that certainly someone who wants to you know um get access to that knowledge and you know that experience can do so those contracts are actually probably a discount to other contracts just because we we probably enjoy that as i said a lot of no is agenda is to you know create a very PUP fostering environment across the whole new year and balanced you know and, and many groups that have the ability to fight other groups and, and, and in an enjoyable manner I think that's why probably those contracts if they when they've come we've, we've actually probably done a significant discount because we actually want those groups to, to thrive in a PUP environment and we want them to be stronger um, and if they have the humility to reach out and say hey look um, our PP is not on point. Can you help us out? Um, we've done that, and we will continue to do that anytime the opportunity arises. And I think uh, counting on our experience and expertise is uh, is a smart choice for those groups that do consider themselves to need it. Um, and uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll happily do so any time that uh, it's required. Kind of a follow up question to both of those things. Uh, to to I guess both of you. Uh, is you know we've talked about all the different types of contracts out there or i should say most of the contract types out there um what is each of your favorite type of contract to complete 
So my favorite kind of contract is uh, you know our harassment package, but edited it with just PPK, not for the structures, right? Because it's just that's the w- one thing we are good at it, and we we do it. So we have a certain sli- uh, you know style to do it. We do it very lazily way, but we get shit done. You know, I I know it's like some certain groups are you know from a real life code, right? Like uh, Bill Gates said. Let a lazy person do this job, and he f- he'll find a creative way to do it. And that's what you know uh, our group is. You know, we found a very creative way to do harassment, and we found a very creative way to get fired uh, out of a certain enemy, uh, you know, a hostile fleet. Uh, and they've been, you know, it's been proven and it's been working, right? So certain type of harassments with the uh, PPK goal is is one of my favorite contracts to do, and uh, you know, which we are creative and good enough to complete. Right on, and um, run for yourself uh, at at the alliance level. Um, what what do you consider kind of your the most fun your your favorite contract to to have? I'd say usually whatever involves uh, fleet fights. Honestly, uh, I don't enjoy PPK that much. I I became quite. Um, on a per- if this is a personal question, yeah, I I, I, I don't enjoy PPK that much because the constant need to hunt ships that usually in 80% of the time they're just doing PvE and they're no sex system, right? Um, or traveling it can eventually get a bit boring. Like, I, generally, as I said, I've been a tackle pilot for most of my career, so I've tackled a lot of ships, right? Um, and I've tackled a lot of PvE ships, and after a while it gets a bit boring, and you know it's okay. Sure, you go, you walk to the place, you tackle a target, and then you you know a whole fleet arrives and, and just blows it up, and it's a twenty versus one or whatever, five versus one usually. Um, even if you're in like light ships, um, so yeah, PvE contracts are f- all right, but you know eventually they don't get that fun. I think what's most fun is to be contracted against a target, which you know you probably not sure you can win the fight and you're probably not sure you can finish the contract and you're going to have a guaranteed engagement of a fleet fight versus a fleet fight and usually the opposing fleet is going to be in their home turf, better prepared um, at least at least on a, on a resource standpoint uh, with more numbers um, and that I think um, usually that involves structures because that's kind of how Eve, Echoes, and Netties have programmed this game to be significantly revolving around like structures and the defensive structures. And yeah, those sort of fleet engagements, uh, which we've encountered in the past, some to be extremely hard to be able to achieve and, and you know, uh, and, and, and fulfill that contract and achieve our goals, has been, I think, uh, the most enjoyable format of a contract. Uh, historically for uh, at least for me um, when, when we have done this right on grand once a glorious uh, Valhalla you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah when you when you're just about when you're just slightly um, with the tip of your tongue savoring the the, 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 the the glory of Valhalla but yet you continue fighting your way through a, a fleet that, that's you know yeah that, that you believe <laughs> yep yeah, yeah believe I understand that feeling brother <laughs> When I do, I do. And you're like, hey boys, you know, we might we might all die in this in this uh, pool of glory, but let's have fun and let's try and, and, and kill these guys and blow up their ships, obviously. Um, but yeah, those, those moments I think are the most special and reward and uh, rewarding, yeah. What would each of you say is the impact on the average pilot during contract work for both the paying side and the target side? Um, I believe I heard you mention uh, you know, at times there's blue, um, and you know, just kind of like from what you've heard from the opponents and or the contractors, like what is the the general feeling that you uh, get coming back from? Yeah, that's a very good question, right? Firstly, and secondly, is this from the paying side perspective? Firstly, uh, the group that hired us will not be hunted upon, right? They, they, they will have some breathing room to do industry, to do PVE, or to do anything which they want to do and have a breather because uh, they've been getting harassed from a certain group for forever, right? For the target side, 
now they've been busy towards instead of harassing that certain group uh, they are you know like they're getting to more on the defensive side and they 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 prepare the mindset right oh now we have to protect our own ship because uh, they hired mugs on us right which plays a huge role on diplomacy and controversy and all of those things you know and uh, then the target side oh we got to think back and then the diplo comes in and they figure things things out and they chill out right and the uh, mugs where we uh, you know decide who just been hired we just do our thing and we get out of there and the now the peace or the harmony and the, the the small pvp gang is there and which is to be honest like like run said which is healthy for this game as the whole you know scene we see if the contracts they want you know they want to be blue with us right they're blue with a certain organization which they're not going to get hunted upon or which there's no, nothing going to happen right they will have that breathing room at time and they will have a sort of like a big more you know backup like hey you know we already have a 20 man fleet going on why won't you just join us and help us right and then this marks and the paying side get together to help the group who's been harassing them then uh from the both from the average pilot perspective they get to you know tends to have a respect for mercenary line of work or more for mercenary pilots and they say like uh, i know reddit and all of these you know platforms try to paint a picture you know of like us being the bad guys or being this like right uh, but at the end of the day like if you need help and you don't have a certain backup or if you don't have the player base right you can always come in and sh- you know just hire, hire our services for protecting your own shit and you can have a breathing room from the paying side of our perspective they give them more peace we like to say our local chat uh, you know respectful as much as to we can who we're killing or you know even if we're shooting at something or even if we just had a good fight even if we had a loss you know we always are uh, try to stay respectful and try to say you know honorable to the group who fought us and you know uh, you know honorable to the group who you know gave us a good fight if they gave us a good fight and even if the you know client is saying like hey just like blow this shit up or something we give them a breathing room for a certain week and we we let citadels or structures or things go by if they gave us a good fight and we tend to live by those morals and codes and uh, which not a lot of certain people and I'll do you know would you say that's uh, pretty much how it is at at the alliance level 2 run or is there anything you'd add yeah, I don't think I'd add much else to what Manav's explained. Okay, cool. Uh, now in context, um, yeah, it's pretty, no. pretty much spot on, yeah. No worries. Um, I think as, as he was explaining, I was like, yeah, I think that that's probably going to cover everything. <laughs> but let me just double check. Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. You're that's good. That's cool. There's a, yeah. Uh, in, in this conversation, um, I kind of expected a lot of the answers to be, uh, yeah, what he said. I'm um, going in both directions. That's why I've kind of tried to, to swap back and forth um, as far as who leads uh, first. I don't want this to get too, too long on this side, but I think one of the most important questions uh, while I have you both on the line is how would somebody begin talks for a contract? For the Alliance, no. Who should they reach out to, Run? Probably Tahini, Canopus, Clansman. Or Dragon Viper as well. Uh, we'll also cover contract stuff. So yeah, any okay. of those people, we'll, we'll, you can you can contact and they'll, they'll Ec- reply. Excellent. I know I know a lot of them are on uh, the various Discord channels. Uh, I'm sorry, Discord servers. Um, it'd probably be easiest to find each of them uh, for a. Uh, n- without having a direct communication with them or, or a direct server link with them on the new Eden radio uh, server. I know uh, everybody mentioned in that list is on the new Eden radio server and you can easily send them a DM that way. Um, Manav, for the corporation who, uh, if somebody wanted to hire just the corp who, uh, who should they reach out to? They can reach out to myself, that's the ex manav They can reach out to Uncle, that's 0NKL Uncle. And they can reach out to Mr. Kilroy. And they can reach out to you, Chicken. Right? All of these guys will uh, reply you immediately with our packages and services. Right? And uh, we also provide cheaper contracts with cheaper, you know, ships and all of those certain ops. 
But yeah, those are the guys. Awesome. Uh, just to be clear uh, to anyone out there listening, what I would do with somebody inquiring about a contract is I would point them in the direction of all of the other people he mentioned on that list. Um, but you can definitely reach out to me <laughs> if that's something that you want to do. <laughs> um, I did want to uh, thank both of you very much for your time. Um, I know, Run, this is kind of a, a double interview day for you so uh, extremely appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me today uh it's uh definitely been a, uh you know i couldn't have asked for anything more and i super appreciate um uh getting to know you a little bit better and to be able to share that uh with everyone as well as uh this specific video on you know why people out there should hire mercs i hope that it's uh kind of let everybody know um uh, a little bit more about it and kind of destigmatized it and, and took it uh, somewhat out of the shadows. And I think uh, one of the biggest takeaways that I have uh, from this is that uh, mercs are willing to do just about anything for some uh, for payment and um, separately uh, know and who pride themselves uh, on, I would say no and everybody within every corp within no pride themselves on the idea of um, this information is your information, not mine. If it gets shared, it's because you told it, not us. Um, so definitely thank you uh, for kind of lifting the veil on that sort of thing. Is there anything either you would like to add before we uh, cut it off for today? Thanks for having me and uh, thanks for you know doing this topic. I know a lot of certain content races don't do that and uh, it just, the new Eden a little bit more about ourselves and uh, how we do stuff and yeah yeah I, I also in terms of now if you want to see some of the cool stuff that we do for contracts and fights you can probably search uh, Tahini uh, just type Tahini Evekos and you'll find his channel he's got a lot of um, videos of fights that we've had as an alliance uh, if not for uh, overall content of course click and like and subscribe Chicken's YouTube channel for some absolute banging all round Eveco's content, which is what he produces. And uh, yeah, Chicken, thanks a lot for, for having me and the invite from ZX Banav and yourself. And as usual with you two, it's uh, been an absolute pleasure to spend some time with you guys and uh, chat along as we, uh, as we do.